Lock your doors, turn off the lights. Zombies invading your lands tonight. Last time I had zombies, I had the Kaiju engine that I took to regionals. This time, I'm trying to go for a more pure, hard-hitting zombie deck, going straight for the ordeals that are going to make you just cry and run and hide behind locked doors. Let's get into it. We got three solitaires. We know what he does. Basically, help gets the Unizombie plays out. Unizombie goes. All these plays. Things get crazy. People start running scared. I bring out three Unizombies right after him. You know, they go together. Pretty much have like six ways to bring this guy out, basically. I bring out three Mizukis. Pretty much, once I have Zombie Roller on the field, it's free game. I'm just bringing out whatever I feel like needs to be brought out. Mostly more zombies, and that's usually where it just gets worse. Two Glow Up Blooms, they came from the Structure deck. Uh, basically, I used them for getting my Doom King out. Either if I want in my hand, and then I use like Unizombie to send him to the graveyard, and then I can wait till their standby phase and special summon him. Then, you know, more effects go off if they want to do effects because Zombie was on the field, then I can negate, banish. Gives me options and pretty much a lot of plays. I got Doom King, who is pretty much the one who everyone hates once he's on the field. It's pretty much a sad game. I get my big boss monster out, and then I have him on the side, and it's just pretty much sitting there seeing what they do and killing them slowly, breaking down their like walls and stuff. I got two Necro World Banshee. Necro Banshee pretty much gets my zombie world out. I could have her summon if I'm desperate, which usually I don't want to do. I could just use her attribute her to activate a zombie world. So it doesn't search it, it activates it immediately. Or I could just have her in the graver from like using it as a cost versus like zombie master or something like that. Pretty much you have a lot of options with her. Pretty much I got two Gozukis. Use them for more dumping and if I'm lucky I could get his other effect off. Especially summon a zombie from the hand. Then I got Zombie Master. This one allows me to do just more play extensions. Maybe use Mizuki, Special Summon, use Effects, Special Summon, Sin You know, keep the combos going, the extension pretty much. Then I got my favorite guy right here, Dino Wrestler Pancreatops. This is the guy who solves all your problems with just one tribute and one special summon. I love it. That's all the monsters. We're going to go into the spell cards now. I got one terraforming pretty much get my zombie world out then I got a reasoning pretty much a lot of mills maybe get more zombies in the graveyard hopefully don't hit all my spells and traps which has happened it hurts my feelings my heart breaks a lot of bad things happen when that happens but you know you have a lot of recovery in this deck so it's really not that bad so I love having this card in there <clears throat> your field white dark hole pretty much clear the board you know been around long enough for you guys to understand that. So I got one for one, pretty much to get a special summon on the board for my glow bloom. More ways out, more options. One monster reborn, whatever I want to use it on. One foolish burial, more dumping. Number twos. I got one book of life. You know, get pretty much another monster reborn and a banish on your opponent's graveyard. <clears throat> Two called by the graves. In case they want to throw some ashes at you, you stop that right there. Then I got two super polys because you know the ban list was just acting real nice to us today. And I'll show you the cards that I use super poly for, it's really interesting. I got two burial from different dimensions to pretty much reset the whole Mizuki play or bring my um, Necro Banshees back into the uh, graveyard and get another zombie world out or whatever I want to do, more extensions. The bread and butter of the deck, three zombie worlds. This card just makes everything zombies and Mizuki can summon whatever it wants basically. So I love it, it lets me keep doing plays. I could get really interchangeable with it, have a lot of fun with it. Then I got two solemn strikes to just shut down things I just don't want to deal with. You know how that'd be. And then I got a solemn warning. Another just more stop summons, more counter plays. And then a solemn judgment, just to do more of the same thing, and pay a lot of life points to do it. And now for the extra deck, I got one vampire sucker. Pretty much get her out, get the zombies effect out, use the zombie effect to draw, and then once I do that, just more extensions. Pretty much zombies, just you just keep extending your plays, get what you can out, get your your beaters out. 
uh, one of my heavy hitters is going to be Borolo Dragon. Pretty much, he's just a beat stick. No one likes dealing with him. Really, problem solver. They got to get over him. It's a nice card to sit on at any time when you can't get him out. I got one Saryuja. Um, just to do a no more extensions if I happen to have a good like mix of cards, nice uh, good hand, I could actually just get off a full field and then just bring out Soryuja, extend my hand again, maybe get back row and you know just be ready for the next, next turn. Two Wee Witches because they're dark and it just works out really well with the deck, easy to use, easy to get two Link Zones available for your cards and just pretty much continue your plays. <clears throat> So I got Titanic Galaxy, basically we'll use him very rarely, uh, I keep using Slow Weight Synchro and uh, Doom King and that'd be one way to make him, but don't have too many options to make him, he's just a good card for another negate. <clears throat> I got one Honor Arc, pretty much just to deal with cards that you just really don't want to deal with, just more problem solvers. Uh, one Minerva, pretty much to do more mills, more just get more zombies into the graveyard, basically, just to get, extend the plays. One Abyss Dweller, Graveyard Hate, you already know. One Beatles, which is very easy to make in this deck, very fun. A Unizami and a Solitaire, and then a Mizuki play, bring it back, bam, got a Beatles. Disgusting, no one likes dealing with it. It's like a Borlo basically almost. I got one Black Rose Dragon for a field blow up. One Crimson Blader, if I destroy a monster, uh, opponent's monster by battle, I could prevent them from especially in level 5 or higher on their turn. So, really good card, really cool. One Omega, pretty much allows you to mess with your opponent's hand and also recycle your Mizuki cards. Really good, really powerful, very useful. One Dragon Necro is pretty much the card I use for my Super Poly. Just boom, get rid of it and be done with it. One Star of Infusion Dragon, pretty much use him to get rid of like really annoying dark monsters and bam, super poly. That's the deck profile today, guys. I hope you enjoy. If you have any tips, tricks, or ideas, or something I could add to it to make it a little more pow, um, just let me know in the likes, comments, subscribe, do us all a favor, let us know what you need to let us know. You give them out. Thank you.